you. Okay, so time check on my watch. It's 4.11. So let's start our class. Okay, so good afternoon, grade 11 students. Are you well? Can you give me heart reactions if you feel okay, if you feel relaxed? If you can hear me clearly, if you can see me clearly, give me affirmations by clicking the heart reaction on the Zoom feature of reactions. And I could see heart reactions. Thank you so much for responding. Okay, so of course, I will introduce myself first before we start anything else. I am Teacher K. I am your physical education and health teacher for today. And of course, I know that you want to learn more. That's why you're here. So we'll start the session. But before the lesson proper, of course, let's first have the prayer attendance, warm up, a little bit of warm up to avoid dozing off while in the middle of the session, and of course, the objectives. Okay, so first with the prayer, and since I acknowledge that we have different religion and we acknowledge different uh, deities, um, this prayer is um, in general. Okay, so read with me as we pray. O oh, Almighty Deity, you who promised to be with me always, be with me this day as I begin my schoolwork. Keep me in health, I pray, keep me from harm. In all that I do and say, may I love you with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength. And may I love my neighbor as myself, so that I might fulfill your purposes for me and your calling on my life as a student. In your name, Amen. Okay, so thank you for praying with me. Next is attendance. So as I call your surname, please unmute yourself to say present. And if you can't do, please just click the raise hand button. Okay, so let's start with Miss Briones. Miss Briones. Can you hear can you hear Nicole or am I the only one who won't hear her? Hello? Oh okay. It's okay. Um I already acknowledged your chat, uh, Miss Brian. Okay, thank you for still coming here and I hope you fix your audio later. Next we have Miss Caballero. Present po. Thank you for answering. Miss Castillo. Present po. Thank you. Miss Eliazar. Present po. Thank you. Miss Francisco. Present po. Thank you. Mr. Gamilia. Present po. Thank you so much. And Miss Tavares. Thank you so much for answering. So let me know if I forgot someone that I wasn't able to call. But I'm happy that you're here with me today. Okay, so since we're done with the attendance, let's move on to the warm up. Okay, so this is just very short. I just don't want anyone to feel busy or, of course, the time, 4 p.m. It's time for siestas. So I know how it feels. So let's just shake our hands. Just follow me, shake our hands. And head rotation. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, grade 11 students. Very participative and alert. I like that. Thank you. Okay, moving on. We have our objectives. Of course, this is the target that we have to hit until the end of our session. Okay, so first one, we have to differentiate types of eating. Okay, so we have the fuel for performance, emotional eating, social eating, and distracted eating. Next is we have to recognize importance of holistic health in the manner of 
eating. And lastly, we have to initiate change to healthy eating habits through health pledge. Okay, so can you give me a thumbs up if we're ready to move on to our lesson proper? Thumbs up. Okay, thank you so much for answering. All right, so first activity. Okay, so this is our first activity. We have the motivational activity. Okay, so um, instead of having the KWL, so if you're familiar with KWL, that's uh, what you know already, what you want to know, and what you have learned. Uh, that's far as I know the meaning of KWL. But with Teacher K, we have the KRE. So that's knowledge, relate, and effects. Okay. So let me just share to you the, the link. Wait. Okay, so while I'm looking for the link because the application closed. Okay, so here you will put input your initial knowledge about the subject, with it, which is, as you can see below, eating habits. So you have to think, what do I know about eating habits? So that's what you're going to input in the link that I will send in just a moment. And the next is what example can you give to relate with the eating habits? So you'll see later in the link of the Jamboard, uh, you'll see an, an example. There you go. So you can open with me. So we'll both see. Okay, and then lastly is the effects. So what is the effect of the example that you give to your health? Okay. So let me know if you're already in the, in the link that I provided. There, okay, there, and then you have to use the sticky notes. That's the legend, yellow for knowledge, pink for relate, and green for effects. So if you can see my screen, or if you're on the jump board already, on the second slide, there is the example. So I put my initial knowledge about eating habits is how I eat. And then my example, how do I eat? So that's what I have to think. My example, how can I relate, is that I eat too much sweets when I am sad. So that's my, that's one of my eating habits. And then my effect on my health, wait, um, but uh, disclaimer, this is just an example. I'm not really diagnosed with diabetes, but I'm just giving you an example. Okay, so, so that is uh, the example for this activity. Okay, so in the third slide, that's where you will input your uh, answers, okay? Let me know if you have any question. You can click the raise hand button or you can chat. You can type in your questions in the chat box. Okay. So again, yellow for knowledge. So all of your answers should be on the first column, knowledge, and then your example, how, what is an example of my eating habit? How can I relate? Okay, so you'll put that in the second column using pink sticky note and then green sticky note for the effect. What is the effect of my eating habit to my health? Okay, so I guess you're already putting in your answers. That's very good to know. Okay, so time is 4.20. We'll get back to each other by 4.23. And please um, include your name in the sticky note so that your answer is recognized.
Okay, so time check, 4.22. You can still keep your answers coming, but I'm going to read some of those now. So we have here, What, How, and Why I Eat by Jonna. What I eat and how it affects my body. Flory, way of eating on a daily basis. Gami, why am I eating? Nicole, eating mindfully. Angela, why do I eat? By Yen, how I eat, Sarah. Okay, so here you're, you're still putting in your answers. I can eat well when I'm stressed, John. Actually, Sam can eat well when I'm stressed. I, I can't digest my food. I eat to survive, to gain energy, to function well, and because I have cravings. That's for Nicole. I usually eat junk foods and chocolate whenever I feel stressed. So, same. I can relate to that. What else? I eat because either I am stressed or basically hungry. Right. We all relate to each other. Effects. We have here one answer. Can cause several diseases like ulcer. Right. Ulcers. When we don't. When you don't eat at the right time. Okay, so time check, 4.23. Let's give more 30 seconds for those who haven't yet put their answers. Good guys. It is not good for my health. That's the effect. To this student, please include your name, Sarah. Okay, thank you. Stressed, gain weight. Oh, right. I tend to be conscious of my weight, so I eat foods that make my body gain weight, said Flory. Oh, I see. Okay, gaining excess weight because of being unmindful to what I am eating, said Nicole. I don't usually eat uh, vegetables and... Sorry, I can't read. Sometimes I skip meals. Oh, no. So, gummy. Okay. So, time check. 4.24. Thank you for your answers. If uh, you're still inputting in the effects column, that's okay. That's great. Thank you very much. But we'll now move on to the questions. Of course, you have to process what you input there. So, um, if you look at my screen, what I'm showing right now, can you see my screen? Yes, but Okay, thank you so much. So you see the two questions, right? So first we have, where did you first learn about eating habits? So because you have um, input, your initial knowledge, I'm um, asking, where did you first learn about it? So you can raise your hand or... You can type in your chat. You can type in your answers in the chat box. Anyone? Where did you first learn about eating habits? Anyone? Yes, yeah, Sarah. Um, in elementary book, since we have um be a subject, and also from my several past experiences with a doctor but since I'm very, I easily get sick. Okay, thank you. So you first learned about it from school, of course, in your class, right? And due to your experiences because you went to the doctor, correct? Oh, I see. Okay, how about the others? You can type in your chat, you can type in your answers in the chat box, even if you are in a cold or even if you did not Raise your hand. Anyone? Yes, Jonna. Ma'am, I first learned it at home, but since um, we first learned everything at home, uh, mm -hmm. my grandmother always tells me about what to eat and what I should and shouldn't do while eating in Puma. Okay, thank you so much, Jonna. And I actually agree with her. Uh, um, I just want to share my experience. I also first learned it at home. But since we all have different experiences, all your answers are valid. And of course, um, it contributed to the knowledge of eating habits. So thank you so much for your answers, Jonna and Sarah. And I think 
the other students can relate to that either in school or at home. Okay, so for the second question and last question for this, do you think it is important to check the eating habits, to take a look after it? Why or why not? Do you agree with that? Let's call Joshua. Do you think it is important to check your eating habits? Yes, Paul. Because our eating habits highly contributes to our health. So whatever whatever we eat, um, na kapit impact na kapit sa health natin. Yun ang key. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your answer. And I agree with that because whatever we consume in our body affects us. Correct? Okay. Right. I see. I see students nodding. So I I acknowledge your answer. So thank you so much, Joshua. Anyone else before we proceed to our next, next activity? Going once. How about Angela? I would like to hear your answer on this number. Yes, po. it is important po, to check our eating habits. Same answer as Joshua. Po. Because it contributes to our health then po, and also in our mood. Thank you. Thank you for your answer. So we all agreed that it is important for us to check our eating habits because it affects us. Okay, thank you so much for your answer. Now we will proceed to our next activity. Which is... Are you familiar with Never Have I Ever activity? Have you ever done a Never Have I Ever activity? Can I see show of thumbs up reaction? If yes, all right, I already see. Okay, so let me just set up. So we're going to have a flashcard type of, type of activity here. I kept changing windows. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. So we have first, uh, first question. Okay. Oh, by the way, by the way, so what, what you're going to do is that you are going to show a thumbs up. So that means you have to show it on, the, on your camera. If you agree, okay, and then thumbs down if you don't, and then point at your nose if you're not sure. Okay, for those who are for those whose cameras aren't open, you can use the um, reaction buttons for the I don't know for the I'm not sure. You can just type it on the chat box. I am not sure. All right. Okay, can I see? Any affirmation for before we start? We're good. Okay, I see thumbs up. I see nod. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for your answer. So first question, never have I ever eaten while watching show, movies, sports, etc. Thumbs up. I see everyone. Okay, so we all did this already, right? Especially if we really love the show or we really love the movie. Okay, Let's see. Next question. Never have I ever eaten comfort food when after a bad, stressful day. <laughs> I see some of you really, you know, showing me <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> you really agree. Okay. Okay, I see everyone as well. Okay. Next, never have I ever had my meal while doing school works. You know, like you don't eat with your family, you eat in front of your workspace. Well, I see thumbs up reactions as well from everyone. Okay, so you all had done that. I see. Very studious. <laughs> okay, never have I ever eaten a lot before an event, program, or competition. How about this? For example, quiz. 
or any program. For example, monthly program, you have event at your school. Do you eat too much or you don't eat at all? You're not sure? Okay, I see different reactions this time. So I see not sure, I see no, I see thumbs down. Okay, so we have different answers for this. All right, okay, thank you for your answers. Next is, never have I ever been pressured to eat as a guest at a friend's house because they prepared food. For example, you went and say, they say, kain, but you're already full, but you, but you, but you still eat because you're pressured. Have you done that? Okay, see thumbs up reactions. All right. Okay. So, right, when we are full already, we already ate at our house or sometimes on the way to our friend's house. But when the mother said, Kain! And she prepared everything, you still eat. <laughs> okay. All right. Never have I ever lost appetite when I am in not in the good mood. I see thumbs up reactions as well. Okay, that means we all relate to this. Next question. Never have I ever eaten before exercising so that you gain fuel. No, to have more energy for exercising. Okay, one answer with thumbs down. Okay, I see a lot of thumbs up. Okay, thank you for your answer. Last but not the least. Never have I ever been so bored that I eat even when I'm not hungry. Have you ever done this? Thumbs up reaction if yes. Okay, I see thumbs down. I see thumbs up. I see thumbs up. Okay, thank you so much for your answer. So I see that we already, uh, we all have different experiences when it comes to the questions that I have already asked. Now this time... Sorry, now this time, okay. So now this time, since we have already know what we have done already or what we haven't or which we are not sure, we're going to process what we have answered. Okay, so we'll proceed with question number one. Okay, what have you observed with the questions asked? Anyone? What have you observed with the series of the questions asked in the Never Have I Ever activity? Can I call Flory? Um, uh, what do we, um, kung kailan po tayo kumakain? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for your answer. What else? Do you want to add more? Vienne? Oh, Miss Vien got disconnected, I think. How about Nicole? What can you add to Flory's answer? Eating habits in different situations. Okay, thank you so much. It's uh, similar to what Flory answered. So that means I think we're on the same page on this part. So we have observed that the questions asked were the uh, eating, uh, eating habits in different situations, in different circumstances. Okay, for our next question, question number two, how do these eating habits or pattern affect you? How do they affect you when you eat while watching, when you eat while doing schoolwork? And I see raise of hand as volunteer. It's called Jonah. How do the eating habits mentioned affect you? Mom, it affects my mood and my appetite. Like, for example, the sentence earlier na I lost appetite when I'm not in a good mood. So when I'm really not in a good mood, I don't eat po at all because I don't feel like eating. Ayan po, ma. Okay, thank you so much for your answer, Jonna. And I actually agree with you because if you don't feel like eating, you can't really eat, right? You can't... Uh, force yourself to eat because it might affect you even worse, right? 
Okay. So, what else do you want to answer to? Sarah. Um, I think po, when yung tulad rin po sa isang question earlier na we eat whenever, I, while watching our favorite shows, I think po mas, mas grabe po yung appetite ko whenever I'm watching since hindi po nakatoon yung attention ko sa food and nakatoon po ito sa show. So, hindi ko na po napabantayan kung, kung gaano po kalaki yung nakakain ko or karami po. Okay, thank you so much for your answer. I really like it because you mentioned that your focus is on the movie or show that you're watching. I like that. Yes, Nicole. Yes, Nicole, you're acknowledged. Hello po. So what I have observed is that those eating habits also affects how we function in every activity. Like for example, um, before we exercise, if we eat too much, um, it affects our body in moving. We feel heavy or um, madalita yung hingalin, ganun. And before exams or events, ayan, if we are full or we are parang kumain tayo ng enough, ganyan, makapag-function tayo ng maayos. Ayan po. Okay, thank you so much, Nicole. I really like your answer, the part where where you said that we can really function if we eat at the right time, right? If we eat before an event, if we eat adequately, adequately means enough. So I like your answer, Nicole, and I agree with that. So thumbs up to you. Thank you so much for your answers for our next question. Number three, of course. In what situation do you relate with the questions asked? Please give examples of your experiences. So aside from the questions that I asked earlier, like the never have I ever, can you state more examples of your experiences that uh, eating of your eating habits? For example, me, I eat too much sweets, specifically sweets when I'm stressed. I don't eat rice when I'm stressed. I eat sweets like that specifically sweets it's like okay angela <laughs> too much energy angela yes yung sa ano po eating before exercise din kasi po i exercise almost every day po so kailangan ko ng body ko na ano enough na fuel bago ko bago ako mag-exercise kasi kung walang laman yung katawan ko parang mahihirapan po ako Thank you. Thank you, Angela. I like your answer because, but actually a while ago, um, different, different um, answers were, were shown. Like some of you don't eat before exercising. But in the case of Angela, she chooses to eat before exercising because it gives her the fuel, the energy. So that's the case for Angela. So thank you so much for sharing your experience. And I, I affirm and I commend you for exercising almost every day because that's important. We need to have at least exercise in our life. We just not have to you know, sit down and use our phones. We also have to use our body. Okay, what else? Anyone? Before we proceed to... Yes, Flory. Okay, wow. Many raise of hands. Yes, Flory, go ahead. Um, I tend to eat madami po kapag I'm studying, like doing um school works, because um I tend to get very very hungry po kaya I eat a lot. Um, hindi lang po uh, rice or Kung ano pong meron po makita ko, basta po kinakain ko kasi nagugutom po talaga ako. Mm, I see. Okay, thanks for sharing, Flory. So in the case of Flory, she uses the food to fuel her mind. That's what I infer with Flory's situation. So she uses, she consumes as much as food as she needs because she needs it while studying. Okay, thank you so much, Flory. So, uh, I'm sorry, sorry, but I'll have to, um, I have to accommodate Joshua last. Okay, thank you, Joshua, yes. 
ano po sa pag pag kumakain habang nanonood ng series kasi mas ano mas satisfying po kasi yung panonood ng series kapag mayroon ka pong kinakain and it's not just the hunger yung nasa satisfy mo it's also yung na improve din yung mood kapag nanonood ka yun po. Yay! Thank you so much. I actually agree. But you know what? I'll just share this um before. So of course, we still have cinemas open, right? So before, I don't eat popcorn. I don't order anything while in the cinema because I finish the food even before the show starts. So it's like, just it's just a waste of money because the show haven't started yet and I don't have any more food. But I spent it already. But it's, of course, pandemic, we're only in the house. So, yeah, let's grab the food we want. So, I agree with the part that it's more enjoyable to watch because, like, you're just eating. So, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Thank you so much for fourth, fourth, fourth question. Sorry. Fourth question. So, given your answers with the previous questions, what can you conclude with eating habits. Again, given your answers with the previous questions, what can you conclude now with eating habits? Anyone? Joshua, are you are you raising your hand or you just forgot to? I or you want to, to answer as well? I forgot to lower it. Okay. But you can answer. <laughs> so anyone want to answer this? So given the answers, you you shared a lot of uh, sentiments because you relate too much with the topic. What can you conclude with eating habits? Can you infer? What can you say about eating habits? Can I have Sarah to answer this one? Yes, po. Um, I am for me, po. Uh, eating habits relies on you, especially you're the one who's making the pattern of it. So, also din po sa mood. So big po yung impact ng mood on your eating habits. I agree. Okay, so it depends on you. Did I, got, did I get it correct, your answer? It depends on you because you are the one who's eating. Yes, po. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, who else? There are different... This is Okay, so Joshua answered in the chat box. There are different factors affecting our eating habits. Would you like to elaborate or would you like to add up you know, more explanation about this, Joshua? Ano po, naka-affect like we, yung eating habits natin nakadepende sa mood natin, sa health status natin, and ano yun lang po yun, that's ano ba, yun lang po. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for still um, adding up to your answer in the chat box. Okay, thank you so much. And I agree with that. You know, it depends and it affects. It depends on you and it, and it affects you. Okay, Angela, let's hear from you. The way we eat po, uh, affects our emotional, mental, and physical health. Okay, thank you so much. I'm glad that I still accommodate more answers from you because you're very right on that. And that's what I would love to hear from you guys. So thank you so much, Angela, for bringing that out, that answer, that the way we eat affects us emotionally, mentally, and of course, physically. And sometimes, you know, other aspects as well. So thank you so much, Angela. And I affirm, but... Um, the previous answers were all correct. It depends on you. It affects you. There are different factors. So you were all correct on that. Thank you so much for your answers. For our fifth question, do you think it is important to look after our eating habits? Why or why not? So earlier, um, I already asked this, but given the answers of you from the questions, 
do you really, you know, are you really sure we have to look after our eating habits? How important it is? Let's hear from Jonah. He's still there. Well, I think it is important to look after our eating habits. It is important because um, we need to be in control and we need to be cautious of how we eat because it can make or break us. The way we eat can make us healthy, but it can also make us um, prone to diseases. Thank you so much. I like the line make or break, right? Because we eat, we consume food to make us healthy, but at the same time, sometimes it makes us sick too. So I really like your answer, Jono. Thank you so much for that. Now for our last question. How can we take care more of our health holistically? So when I say holistically, that's what Angela already said earlier. Mentally, emotionally, physically, and sometimes it also includes spiritually. So how can we take more care of our health overall? holistically as a whole. Can I hear from Nicole? I would love to hear from Nicole. Yes, ma'am. Um, uh, we could take care of our health holistically. First of all, if we have goal, we have health goal to achieve. You know? um, because if we have goal, um, we know what we will do in order to achieve that health goal. All right. Thank you so much, Nicole. And I don't know if you can see on my face, but I'm really happy with your answers, students. So clap your hands, pat yourselves, because you really did a great job on this um, processing questions. I love it so much. Thank you so much. And we'll get back to the questions later as we go on with our lesson. So right now, since we're done with the analysis, let's now move on to the lesson proper. So now we're going to break down the types of eating. So without further ado, let's start, of course. So first one is fueling for performance. So what is this? It's consuming adequate, so I mentioned earlier, adequate means enough, nutrition during a specific time window to help maximize performance to a certain activity. So, of course, it influences how we, how we feel, learn, perform, and recover. So, I would love to move on to the example because you'll understand it more with this. So, the examples are the athletes. So, athletes, they have to really eat a lot, right? I learned that because when I was in grade 5, I watched volleyball too much. I liked volleyball so much. So, I... I followed the journey of the, of the athletes, specifically in La Salle. So I follow them and I see that when they eat, uh, when they eat, they ha really have like a lot of rice because they have to fuel up their energy because in the, in the arena, they are going to use up these energy, correct? So they have to gain in order to use the energy. And then after, after using that energy, they have to gain again. So that's how it works. That's fueling for performance in order to perform well in the sport or competition, okay? So another one is it's not just about the physical, but also for the brain, for our mind, eating food for memory before a quiz B. So before I was an M-topper, I compete for M-top competitions. I always eat dark chocolate for my before I start the exam or the competition. And I think it helps. I think it helps because it really, first, it boosts my energy because we know that sugar sweets boosts your energy and it keeps you up so you won't get, you know, like sleepy in the middle of the exam. So it really helps. I can attest to that. Okay, so that's the, those are the examples. Next is for the effects. So we have here, of course, good effects. So we it maximizes what an individual can do and it can make a person physically active and efficient, just like what the athletes do in the arena, in the competition, in the sport, and good total health, as we have mentioned earlier, holistically. Good total health, body composition, and overall feelings of, 
of, of satiety, it's appetite satisfaction. So right when we, for example, we eat enough for the whole day, of, for example, we eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, we don't feel weak. But if we only eat breakfast and then we don't eat afterwards, we feel weak. So that's what we call food and purpose. For performance, sorry. Okay, next. Let's move on to emotional eating. So this is where the emotions comes in. Eating to respond to emotions instead of hunger. So even when you're not hungry, but when you feel something, you eat. So that's emotional eating. It is a coping mechanism for people when they are dealing with their feelings. It's not usually just the sadness, but also it's with like worse events, for example, um, trigger warning, we have the death, the divorce, and abandonment. So that's why some people really turn so thin, you know, and they get sick because this is what happens, emotional eating. It's like they eat because they feel things or they don't eat because they feel things. That's emotional eating. So for example, finish a whole bag of chips out of boredom. That's it. That's what we were talking about earlier. Eating ice cream after a stressful day. Having a lot of sweets because of heartbreak. It's not, it's not always like this, but it's just an example. So even when you're not having a heartbreak, you could still eat sweets. Eating food as a reward over an achievement. So we always say like when we have high grades, magmi milk iyako. So that's our verb at M because that's our reward to ourselves. That's emotional eating. So the effects, of course, it has negative effects to us because for example uh, in the definition it said there that when we feel things even even we're not hungry we eat so sometimes it it is not it is not adequate anymore because we eat more than what we need so that's why we can have weight related health problems such as diabetes high blood pressure and obesity and emotional eating patterns so we have here an example like when a when a kid is given a candy after a big achievement. So um, tendency is that it will be a condition to that kid already. So, so it, will, it will be a condition. So growing up, uh, he or she will use that pattern already whenever she or he has achievement there. So those are the effects. And then the next is the social eating. So this is this is where we gather, you know, during celebration, when we eat with friends, family, of course, from the word itself, social. So that's where it happens, social eating. So it says here, accepting invites to eat even if one is not hungry for the sake of being polite to the host, of course. That's what that's what the example earlier in the activity of the never have I ever means. So when we're pressured to eat because the host prepared food, it's called social eating. So the examples are this. So simple, eating up with friends, family, accepting the food prepared by the host, and buffet in a party, of course. When we are gathered in a social place, it's immediately social eating. So the effects of course, of course, sorry, mental health benefits because you get to talk with people, right? Um, I I forgot the commercial title or the brand of the product that they endorse, but I think it's more of uh, Lucky Me and Coca Cola. It endorses that it's good to eat with family because this is where the conversation is more happening. Right? This is where you casually talk about your day, your work, your school. Sometimes you share your love life in the, you know, it's usually in the dinner. So that's what it, um, it brings you. Mental health benefits, positivity. But also there is negative effects such as peer pressure and overeating. So overeating, of course, um, when, when they share food with you, but you're full of, but you don't want to offend them. So you eat, and then you overeat. Okay, last but not the least is the distracted eating. So distracted eating is intentionally eating while doing a secondary activity. Sometimes the, the secondary activity is the eating itself because sometimes the primary eating is, for example, schoolworks. You're doing schoolworks, but you have to eat. So, you know, you'll just, you'll just, um, you'll just eat while in the middle of the school works. The, uh, well, the other way around is the secondary activity is not eating. For example, eating while watching. You are you eat, but then you feel bored while eating, and then, oh, okay, I'll watch so that 
so that I'll enjoy my eating. You know, I, I think um, many people can relate to me on that because I do that. Like, I get bored eating because I'm not watching anything. So that's it, distracted eating. And the, exam- and, the, and the examples, all right. So we have you checking email. Sometimes just scrolling through Facebook is distracted eating while eating. Okay, so that's it. And of course, the effects is, or I mean, distracted eating makes one eat fast. Because you don't get to be focused. That's what Sarah said earlier. You're not focused on your eating. You're focused on your, what you're watching. So it will take a toll on your health, on your physical health. So binge eating, that's distracted eating. And sed- sedentary is um, sedentary is when, is when you're not doing anything. Your body is idle. For example, you're just laying around. That's the effect of distracted eating. Because after eating, usually we tend to feel sleepy. So we want to lay around. So usually it becomes a habit. So it's a bad effect. All right. So I hope I'm not super fast. But I hope I hope I'm fast enough to give you at least um, meaning and enlightenment about the four eating habits. And I want to end the lecture on this eating is important but we must learn to manage it properly that's what we're talking about earlier too much or too little food consumed is unhealthy it should be adequate it is better to maintain a balanced diet and healthy lifestyle to prevent illness no one has control over eating habits except ourselves that's what we're talking about earlier i'm glad that you know everything that we have talked about earlier really has relationship on my lecture so good job students i really like it okay now, for our activity, we have to do a pledge. Okay, so actually, I prepared, I prepared um, separate and personalized, personalized files for you. You have here your surnames in the Google Drive that I that I have set, I have sent. So what you'll just do is that you'll put your name. And then you see there that there is a that there is a table that that includes do's and don'ts. So you'll just have the pledge what you will do and what you won't do anymore to make yourself healthy. Okay, is that okay? But for now, thank you, Jonna, for reacting. Thank you, Angela, and thank you everyone for reacting now. But for now, um, we'll just we'll just do the pledge right in front of each other. So we'll raise our hand and then we'll pledge. And then you'll do the input later on afterwards. Is that okay? Okay, so as you can see on the screen, it says here just read one in your dues. So I'll give you one minute to think about. I'll give you one minute to think about. One thing that you'll do to make yourself healthier, to promise yourself that I will be healthier, I will do. So I'll give you an example. For me, I will eat at the right time because I don't eat at the right time. So that's my pledge to myself. That's just one. But in the worksheet, in the Google Drive that I sent, you have your own worksheets. There is a maximum of three. Okay. So I hope that I'm clear on that. So, okay, I'll give you 30 seconds left to think of your one do. And then together, we will unmute all together and then we will pledge. Okay, so while you're thinking about your one do, it said here on the screen, recognize date E because I, I acknowledge and... I accept inclusivity, so of course we're not we, we don't only recognize one baby, which is God. So just state your recognized baby, whoever uh, he is, whoever that is. Okay, so last ten seconds, and then we will pledge all together for the you no know, for the healthy persons as we are. And this is also what um, Nicole said earlier, that if we have a goal, we can achieve a healthy self. So I'm really glad 
that answer. I really love your answers. You're all responsive and participative. And now we will start the pledge. Are you ready? Can I hear a yes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Very yes, ma good. Okay, ma so raise your right hand and repeat after me. Let's all unmute, okay? Repeat after me. I state your name. I. Sorry, my Sorry, Sorry. Pledge to take steps. Pledge, Pledge to, to take steps. steps. No matter how big or small. No, no matter, matter how, how big, big or, or small. small. To achieve a big change. To achieve, to achieve a big change. change. Which could be a healthier me. Which could, Which could, could be, be a healthier, healthier me. me. Today, I commit myself. Today, I commit, I commit myself. To a healthy weekly meal plan. To a healthy, a healthy meal, plan. Meal, plan. Meal, plan. meal plan. And ensure that I practice healthy eating habits. And ensure that I practice, sure that I practice healthy eating, eating habits. habits. Because I understand... Because I understand, because I understand, understand that this that. is a guide to help me on my journey. That this, that is, this is, is a guide, guide to help me on my journey. On my journey. The following are my concrete steps in pursuing this pledge. The following are my concrete are my steps in pursuing this pledge. Stage one, do. I will eat at the right time. I will eat at the right time. This step will lead me to an improvement on my health. In my health. This step will, this step will lead, lead me to an improvement in my health. my health. So help me, God. So help, oh, help me, God. God. Thank you. Clap yourselves. So I hope that this is not just an activity for you guys, but you really take pledge to take care of yourself because you are the only one that could do that. And your health is something that should not be taken away from you. Okay? Thumbs up? Agree? Thank you so much for answering. So now, of course, we'll not just, you know, uh, let your memory in the lecture earlier to be just a waste. So we're going to have a memory fuel. well. So you're going to answer this in a very interactive quiz. And just, uh, I guess you'll finish this in three minutes. I know it. Three minutes, you'll be done. Okay, so I have already sent the link. So you'll see there, you'll just click. You'll just click the answer and it will tell you if you're right or wrong. We'll move on to the next question. So, can they see heart reactions if you're already on the link? If, if you can access it. I see finger heart. Okay, thank you. I acknowledge that. Okay. So, my time is 5.05. You can start now. Okay, I think we only have a minute left. 
Can I see a raise of hands? Raise hand button, please, if you're already done. Okay, Jonna, thank you for answering. Just click the raise hand button if you're already done. So I could. Yeah, good night. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Joshua. Already done, everyone. How about Flory and Nicole? Okay. I, I see. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, everyone, for raising, for clicking the raise hand button. So, can you type in the chat box how was the quiz? What was your scores? <laughs> Is it fine? Is it hard? Did you get the perfect score? Can you type in the chat box, please? Let me know how you felt during the quiz. Was it easy to identify? Easy. That's what I want to hear from you. It's because you listened to me. That's why you found it easy. How about the others? Thank you, Jonna. How about the others? Easy. Easy. That's what I want to hear. Red. That's what I want to read because I only read it exactly. Anyway, we'll move on to our very last activity. Easy peasy. <laughs> okay, so for our last activity, we'll call it What's Up Doc? So this is not an activity inside the classroom, but this is an assignment for you guys. So I will share to you the link and I will also share it on the screen. Okay. Okay, so I hope you're seeing my screen and as well as if you're on the link already. So what's up, Doc, will be your assignment. You will, you have to interview. It's either via face-to-face -face or online platform. So you could go to a hospital, set an appointment, or you could set an appointment and have them with you on Google Meet or Zoom. And you have to do it with the, of course, physician or general medicine practicing doctor. And you will ask the following questions regarding types of eating. And you will have to write their answers below. That easy. That easy as well. So first question, what is your take on the following eating habits? So it's all listed there. You can explain it to them if they don't know, but... I doubt, but since you all listened to me a while ago, you can explain it easy peasy. Next, since the pandemic, the diet and health of a lot of people have been affected. In your expert opinion, what could be the relationship of the ongoing pandemic and the eating habits of people? And lastly, how can an individual better oneself in the manner of eating to avoid serious health problems? So those are the questions. There are just three. So you can send them to my email at enu.edu.ph. Okay, so that's where you'll submit the document. So what you'll do is not, you are not going to input your answers here in the link, but you have to make your own copy or you have to download the file in the Google Docs. Okay? Because if you're going to input here, everyone will see your answer. Okay. So, that's it for your assignment, and I guess that's also it for our day. Yay! We're done for the day. Thank you so much for participating grade 11. Can I see heart reactions if you enjoyed today's session? Because I enjoyed today's session so much. So I will put heart reaction to there. Yay! Thank you. Thank you so much, grade 11 students. You're all responsive, participative, and very active. I had a great time with you. So I hope that what you've learned today, you will bring it until 
the rest of your life because this is not just about, you know, just PE. PE is not just PE because it affects our health as well. So for the last part of our session, I seek permission to have a photo opportunity with you guys because I really enjoyed today's session and I want to have a memory with you. So let's have a photo opportunity. Ate Nicole, if you can open your cam, that will be highly appreciated. But if not, okay lang po. Save your data po. Okay. Full screen. All right. So post, we have three shots. Wow. Three shots. Okay. One, two. Okay, another one. And last one. Yay! Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, grade 11. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Let's stop the recording.